everyone! Today I would like to share with you one of the dish that my friend shared with me and Maria told me this is the sushi bake and this is very nice and to be honest with you, yes I agree with that and today I would like to share with you and later on I will share with you all the ingredients that I make with the sushi bake okay so with the sushi bake I will eat with the uh, seaweed and yes so now let's try it okay It's very nice, very creamy, and I can taste with the tuna and also the crab meat as well. So very delicious and a little bit of chili. Mm -hmm. I love it. So you guys have a try, okay? And now I will go through with you all the ingredients that I uh, do for this um, sushi bake, okay? Follow me. <laughs> I have the big Simon. I have washed off with water and salt so I can clean the slime and I have removed the scale as well so now I chop off the head and then I will cut into a big piece of salmon this salmon I bought in Costco it cost me $16 per kilo it's not too bad hey mm -hmm. very reasonable price and now I will remove the skin and I just get the salmon meat only but there will have some bone left in the meat but that's fine after I bite them I will remove them later on and after I remove the skin I will wash them again to make sure it's clean for me and after that I will tap with a paper towel to let the salmon meat uh, dry and I put into the tray so I use a four big uh, piece of salmon I bake them after that for whatever I um, left I will put into the zipper lock so it's make it clean and then I will cook later on or I might do a marinade later on as well so I make sure that all my piece of salmon is dry and clean yeah so after that or after I put into the zipper lock I will put into the freezer so whenever I need I just defold them and I use mm -hmm. very convenient for me so now I will pinch of uh, paper and salt in onto the salmon and then I will put the oil oil leaf oil as well and I will marinate both sides after I marinate them I will put into the um, oven and I will bake at 180 degree for 30 minutes mm -hmm. So now it in the in my small oven and I bake them. And after um, the Simon's uh, cook, I will uh, leave it aside and let it cool. So later on I will use it. See you can see it's been cooked. Mm -hmm. It smells good as well. I can smell from the oven. And after that I will prepare the uh, sushi rice so I don't want to eat a lot of rice so I just use one cup of rice only I wash them well and then I will cook into my thermal mix machine but if you like um, if you like to eat rice a lot you can use two cup of rice if you want more rice so 
So whoever got the thermal mix like me choose the right function and time too. So the first time when finished, stir the right and after that the second time leave until them cook. Otherwise, use the right cooker. So, and also for the vinegar mix, uh, you need to mix the vinegar first and then after that you have to mix the uh, vinegar with the rice wine well combined. Okay, and then let it cool and it will be done. With the crab meat, I just soak them into the boiling water for 2 minutes. I will rinse them and leave it aside. Let it cool. After I bake the salmon, I let it cool and now I will break them into a small piece. I will remove the bone and also some of the fat attached to the meat to make sure it's safe for the kid to eat as well. And after that, I will do the crab meat and I tear them into a, uh, a thread. So yeah, and after that, I will add the cream cheese. So with the cream cheese, I will use them all. So I use 250 gram of cream cheese inside the bowl. And I will use two tablespoons of melonade and pint of salt. So with the mayonnaise and cream cheese, it's up to you guys. Like just depend on how much you want. Yeah, not necessary. Like follow my ingredient. You can use like as much as you like, or you can use less. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just a pint of salt and paper in there as well. So this one is just optional. And I will mix them well combined. This one you can do before the night and you can put this into the fridge and then you can the next morning you can bring it out and then you bite them. Mm -hmm. You can prep for before the day. And now I will do the sauce. So I will mix the sriracha sauce with, I will use 30 gram of sriracha chili and 50 gram of melonade and then I will use the melonade by itself so I use two sauce mm -hmm. and after that I will mix the uh, melonade and sriracha well combined so I mix and then I put them into the popping bag so I can pop them out later on so the first thing I will I will put the rice on the base first and I make sure that it's evenly and I will sprinkle the seaweed this seaweed you can sp uh, sprinkle as much as you want not necessary how much yep so just yeah so you can do that if you use the two cup of rice you can do two layer but I don't want to eat rice so I just put one cup of rice I just do one layer of rice only and I put the seaweed um, the second top and then the third one I will put the crab meat and also the salmon on top of that so probably my meat will be more than rice because mm -hmm. I'm worried that I'm gonna gain weight so I don't eat rice much but the thing is this sushi I have to use fry so that's why I just use less I don't use much but the actual ingredient you have to use a lot of rice not less like me okay and now I would press them tight to make sure that it's all neat and all tight before I apply the sauce on top of the um, salmon after I prepare my uh, salmon tray I will apply the salt on top of the salmon. So I will use the tonkatsu sauce I apply on top of my salmon tray. So with this sauce, you can apply as much as you want. Um, not necessary like me. But the thing is, I want the flavor more stronger. So I add a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. And after that, I will apply the sriracha chili with melonade sauce on top of the um, Simon tray as well and it will bring the color for me so you can see the bright color and the um, quite orange pink color and after that 
I will apply the melonade sauce by itself as well. So it it will make the dish more creamy for me and more smooth for me as well. And also the contrast of the color is more look beautiful as well. So yeah, but uh huh. So it's depend on you. Uh, you can put as much as you want. You can put less or you can put more. It's depend on you. Okay, with the sauce, not necessary. Have to be follow me. Mm -hmm. So after the sauce, I will bake into the big oven, and I will bake at 180 degree for 20 minutes. And when it's ready, I will let it warm a little bit, and then I will eat with the seaweed um, wrap, and then oh, that's real beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, thank you so much, Maria, for sharing me with this recipe. I love it, and it tastes very nice. And okay, so I hope um, you guys can try it, and I will see you guys in the next clip. See ya! Bye.